Hey, all right, stretching those hamstrings and feeling those hips and glutes. Welcome back team, ready to get started in our day eight of our brains and booty fitness challenge. In today's fitness challenge, we'll be using our glutes down on the floor. Join me in a tabletop position, all fours. Stack your shoulders directly above your hands. Spread your 10 fingers nice and wide. Stack your hips directly above your knees. And then without pressing the belly down, arching the tail butt, tailbone up, nor pressing the upper back up, I'd like for you to level out your spine. So from your neck to your tailbone, as flat back as you can, like a tabletop. And from your tabletop position, inhale, bring your right leg up to a fire hydrant position. Without turning or twisting your hips up, let's lower down the hips. Without touching your knees together, send it right back up. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep a light bend to your elbow joints. Exhale up, inhale slowly lower. Keep your thumbs and pinkies firm to the mat. Exhale up, slowly lower. Notice your strength on the way down. Exhale up, slowly lower down. Inhale is the way that gravity will allow that, right? The leg will come down. You use your inhale breath to reset. Forcing it up is the hard part. Using muscle exertion, exhale, use your breath to flex. Lift and slowly lower. Try not to tap the knees together. Be a little more aware of the way that they close. Inhale, exhale up, inhale down, exhale, inhale down, just about there. Remind your elbows to stay a little bit bent without a lock out of the joint. Last one, and slowly come to your knees. Take this time to roll your wrists forward, counterclockwise, maybe backward. Let's do it again, this time, other side. Again, stack your shoulders directly above your hands. Stack your knees directly underneath your hips. Left leg fire hydrant, long spine, gazing forward, belly pulled in, spread your 10 fingers and lift, exhale. Slowly inhale without tapping the knees, little gap, exhale. Slowly lower the knees, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Lift, lower, exhale, inhale. Pull the belly in. Somehow I decided to lift with one arm, a ginormous bottle of Tide. You know, the Costco size, it's huge. They're enormous ones. I don't even know how many ounces. Um, but I decided I was just gonna move it a couple of inches over, maybe centimeters over from one side of the ledge to the other with one arm. <clears throat> I was dumb and I pulled the back of my rib cage muscles and I can feel it in this fire hydrant, but it feels good. I feel like I'm getting some movement. Lift, lower, sharing that with you. Lift, lower, belly in. Oh, almost there. Here we go. Eight, a bend of our elbows. Belly in, three, one more. Slowly come to your knees, sit down on your heels. Take this time and flip the wrists, be gentle. You can come to all fours or kneel, I should say. Lean a baby bit back. Maybe take the hands and turn them fingers away from you. Maybe take the hands and turn fingers towards each other. And being gentle, maybe flip the hands, palms upward. Pay a little love to the wrists. Continuing on, this time we do bridges. Please lay down on your back. We're going to use both feet on the floor. Except I'd like for you to find your legs in a narrow stance where your feet are almost ankle ankle touching each other, big toe, big toe touching each other and the heels touching each other. 
For this one, you can bend your elbows and create a light sculpt by pressing the elbows and triceps down to the floor. For this one, keeping your narrow stance, we'll start pushing the hips up, slowly lowering the hips down without touching the floor. Exhale, inhale. Palms can place also down to the floor. Here we go. Let's turn on the chest by pressing the palms. Let's turn on the triceps, pressing the palms. Draw your belly in, pull your pelvic floor muscles up and in. Narrow stance bridges, lift, hover at the bottom. Lift and lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift and lower, lift, and lower, up, down, neutral spine, lower, hips up, hips down, squeeze at the top, hover at the bottom, belly in, belly in when the hips go down, belly in when the hips push up, you are so strong, stay with it. You've come this far. Don't you quit now. Lift, lower, lift, five. This one should feel so good. Pull out all that inner strength. Three, two, one, more. Slowly lower those hips to the floor. Quick stretch for you. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Roll to the left, to the right. Stretch that low back. Quick happy baby. Grab the outer edges of your feet soles or the inner edges of your feet soles. Draw your knees in and down. Okay, big stretch here. Option to draw a leg out on a diagonal. Stretch those hamstrings. Ooh. Feet soles together. Gripping with all the fingers, maybe a light rock. All right, treat those muscles nicely. Good girl. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, continuing on. Come to all fours one more time. All fours, except this time, we're going to extend the leg into a bird dog variation, extending the leg out and creating a pulse. Stack your shoulders directly above your wrist. Keep a light bend to those elbow joints and keep the thumbs and pinkies down on the floor. Exhale, we'll go ahead and find a nice long straight leg and lift, exhaling up. Notice the leg that could want to shift one hip higher than the other. Try to square the hips to the floor, parallel the hips to the ground or the ceiling. Also notice how the low back may want to arch and be flimsy. Try and keep your belly pulled in and move from your glutes, tightening using your hamstrings, lift and hip flexor, lift and low back lift, your core muscles lift, lift, lift. Pull belly in, gentle reminder, light bend in those elbows, stack shoulders. We finish here, lift. Feel those glutes, mine are shaking, lift, lift. So good. Burn for four, three, two, one more for good measure. Draw that knee in. Sit down, circle wrists, left and right, counterclockwise, clockwise. Second one. This time, inhale your left leg, long, extend the leg, stack your shoulders directly above your elbows, your shoulders above your wrists rather, light bend to your elbows, pull your belly in, and lift, 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 square the hips to the floor, lift, lift, exhale, 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 exhale. Lift, 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 exhale. Square the hips. Up, 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 up. Square your hips. Belly in. 
burn it out. Light bend to our elbows. Thumb and pinkies pushing down firmly. Long neck and spine. Lift for eight. Right core. Push it out. Four, three, two, one. You're done. Not really done, but done with that one. All right, that a girl. Okay, last one. Lay down on your back for pigeon toe bridges. Ay, 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 these hurt me the most. So pigeon toe, this one we're going to remember not to elevate our hips higher than our rib cage because it's going to feel like our hips are barely going anywhere. Like you need to bring your big toes together so they're pigeoned inward and also touch the knees like you're holding a um, whatever in between your knees. So I don't know, something valuable that you don't want to drop. Hold it in between your knees. Keep the knees touching. Also connect the big toes. They're going to want to start to move apart. Keep the big toes together too for pigeon toe bridges. All right, please lay down on your back. Bring your feet soles, your heels under your knees. Place your palms flat to the ground. Push your armpits to the floor. Draw your navel in and let's begin. And our special word of the day is sisters. Our special quote of the day, the word of the day is sisters. Pigeon toe bridges, exhale up, inhale, hover down, don't touch them on the floor, exhale, inhale. All right, team, let's finish it up. 60 seconds, exhale up, inhale down. I want you to concentrate on armpit skin pushing down, concentrate on both big toes connecting. Ride those hips up, push from those heels, drive from your quads, push and squeeze your glutes, suck your stomach in, pull your pelvic floor muscles up and in, keep going, exhale, inhale down, exhale, big toes touch, exhale, knees together, lift and lower. Squeeze. For five, four, three, two, one. Quick stretch. Supine. Draw knees one way. Draw your upper body, arms, maybe chin the opposite way. Other side, draw your knees to the left or the opposite direction. Draw your chin the other way. Squeeze. All right, a quick supine stretch never hurts anything. Be gentle as you come up, though. I'll see you back here again for tomorrow. Awesome job, guys. Keep it going. You're rocking it. Loving it. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Peace.